good morning today we are doing a serious poem very important poem that is poem in october poem in october by dylan thomas dylan thomas his period was from 1914 the year in which first world war began 1914 and 1914 to 1915 or between 1914 and 1953 Dylan Thomas was born in Swansea a large Welsh industrial town where Swansea was a large Welsh Welsh means belonging to Wales Welsh industrial town Swansea was a famous industrial town it was where he was born on 27th october as i told you the year 1940 when he was nearly 11 when he was just 11 when he was only 11 years of age he went to swansea grammar school he went to swansea grammar school where his father dj thomas was a senior english master in the swansea grammar school his father dj thomas was a senior english master when he was 16 when he reached the age of 16 dylan left his school and became a reporter with the south wales daily post and illustrious newspaper a reputed newspaper the south wales daily post adile reporter ay etramathu vayasil 16th vayasil school vidyabhyasakam adhi kemattu poi His first book of poetry came out when he was only 19 when he was when he has had completed his teenage when he was just 19 the first book of poetry came out when he was just 19 then he married Caitlin McNamara Caitlin McNamara in july 1937 and returned to wales returned to his native country wales in april in april the next year pete varsham caitlin mcnamara yoga nadichittu deham avada poi he went to uh, his native place wales in april the next year the thomases the man and wife settled in lawn L A U G H A R N E. It is pronounced as loan. A picturesque little sea seaside town. It was a picturesque, very romantic, very poetic, very beautiful uh, seaside town. Loan. They settled there because of poor health. He was suffering from poor health. Dylan was rejected for the army. He tried to join the army, but he was rejected because of his poor health. From 1940, in the year 1940. he worked on documentary films for uh, his living he worked on documentary films he wrote uh, a script for documentary films uh, from 1930, 1940 1940 1940 uh, from 1940 he worked on documentary films he became part of documentation the advent of war the coming of war which was second world war which started in the year 1939 the advent of war filled dylan with uh, horror and the war itself was a nightmare from which he never completely recovered as far as dylan was concerned the war created a horror in him and it was a nightmarish experience war was a nightmarish experience it was a nightmare pedi sopanam ayirunnu it was a nightmare for him from which he never recovered varikkiru aa nightmare il ninnu moyaram kittittalle dylan thomas After the second volume of poetry published in 1936, it was a collection of 25 poems. After the second volume of poetry published in 1936, which was a collection of 25 poems, he published uh, only one more volume, the Map of Love. The Map of Love. It came out in the year 1939. 1939, Map of Love. The volume, the volume of poetry came out. Uh, which 
contains his early efforts in prose besides poems. It was a collection of both prose and poems. It contains his early efforts in prose also. You know, Map of Love, which was published in 1939, contains his efforts in prose work along with poetry. Meanwhile, he was working on a series of short stories and he had his hand on short stories also. He was working on a series of short stories. They were collected and published in 1940. In the year 1940, all the short stories were collected and published as the portrait of the artist as a young dog, a parody. This title is a parody of the famous novel by James Joyce, The Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man. The Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man. We have learned it. So, parody of Dylan Thomas in the short stories. In the a collection of The Portrait of the Artist as a Young Dog. He parodied the title of James Joyce. Title of the famous novel by James Joyce. He described uh, the stories as illuminated reporting. The stories which uh, this book uh, this contained. Uh, he himself had described as illuminated reporting. Or they also have been called, all these stories also have been called uh, lyrical fables. Not lyrical ballads, lyrical fables. Lyrical fables. Uh, Lyrical fables, no, we are reminded of the inauguration of Romanticism in English poetry by William Wadsworth and Samuel Taylor Coleridge by the publication of Lyrical Ballads in the year 1798. That's the Lyrical Fables. The stories contained in the book, the portrait of the artist as a young dog are largely autobiographical. The stories are largely Autobiographical with the publication of Deaths and Entrances. Deaths and Entrances. And our poem is taken from this book. This collection of poems, Deaths and Entrances. It was published in 1946. By the poem in October, was published in 1944, the year of his 30th birth year. 30th birth year. Uh, during that year, he wrote uh, the poem, poem in October, but it was published in the collection of poems, Deaths and Entrances, which was, which was published, uh, which came out in the year 1946. Dylan came to be recognized as a mature poet. He was considered to be a mature poet. After the publication of Deaths and Entrances, he came to be recognized. He came to be approved as a mature poet. His collected poems appeared in his collected poems, another collection of poems, appeared in 1952. 1952. In uh, two years before, two years earlier in February 1915, he made his first trip to America. America Regu Kumba. He collected poems of Prestige he made his first trip, first visit to America. First of his visits to give lectures and poetry readings. His purpose was to give lectures on various topics and poetry readings. By the way, he was very fabulous, fantastic and extraordinary in the reading of poems. It was a sweet occasion for him, sweet joke for him. Poetry reading. There was nobody to excel him yeah, in that work. Poetry reading. Poetry reading is a professional in America. His last visit to America was in 1953, the year of his death. His, during this period, his health deteriorated. His health had a deterioration. Shechu, his health deteriorated alarmingly, shockingly. He lived by writing for BBC, newspapers and films and by poetry reading. Some BBC newspapers 
and films films ne and scriptum okay uh, screen play ka tayarakka and by especially his uh, greatest work the most important above all above everything he had uh, his poetry readings idellam upariyayittu poetry readings aayirunnu etto pradhana padathu this very busy public life ingane pogunu script nu pogunu charchakku pogunu avade vellamadi ivide vellamadi idegathinte lodging il vannal vellamadi angane aayi his busy public life had a great harm to his health and to his poetry not only to his health but also his poetry his health and poetry were badly affected by his busy life busy schedule of life moreover he is asthma he was an asthma patient and bronchitis another lung disease bronchitis uh, he had a uh, chronic bronchitis his asthma and bronchitis got aggravated by heavy drinking excessive drinking madhyavikya nu arnjale deham madhyavikya alle madhyam dehate kaikiya cheyunnu angane you know he is uh, to chronic diseases asthma and bronchitis were aggravated these diseases aggravated by heavy drinking and on 9th november 9th november 1953 he died his body was brought to wales america in the wales like german nadu like kondu vannu and buried in saint martin's church yard alone l a u j c r c r n alone ലോൺ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന വെയിൽസിലെ അവിടെ മനോഹരമായ ഒരു പള്ളിയുണ്ട് സെയിൻറ്റ് മാർട്ടിൽ ചർച്ച് ആ അതിൻ്റെ അങ്ങണത്തിൽ അതിൻ്റെ ചേർച്ചയായിട്ടിലാണ് ഇദ്ദേഹത്തെ സംസ്കരിച്ചത് ആരെയും ഡിലൻ തോമസിനെ ഡിലൻ തോമസ് ലേറ്റർ പോയിട്രി വർക്ക്സ് ടു വേഡ്സ് ദി സെലിബ്രേഷൻ ഓഫ് യൂണിറ്റി ഹി ഫൈൻസ് എ യൂണിറ്റി ഇൻ ഓൾ ലൈഫ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾ ടൈം ഒരു യൂണിറ്റിയാണ് കാണുന്നത് ഇവിടെ തന്നെ നമ്മുടെ പോയിമൻ ഒക്ടോബറിൽ തന്നെ ഹി finds a unity in the later poet and dilan thomas as a child kutiya irikuna dilan thomas adeyathinte orma adhule mudirna dilan thomas aa oru unity am ellathilum ella jeevajalangalilum adu pole thana ella kaalam thammalulla oru unity kaala trayathil ninna phedam alla adinte oru unity aa kaanunnathu his major poetic works like a poem in october his most important poems poetic works like a poem in october fan hill another poem fan hill which is also highly autobiographical and he discloses his reminiscent experiences he it is a memme memme of his childhood or we can say it is a celebration of his childhood fan hill and a poem on his birthday another birthday poem a poem in october nu rayna or birthday poem aan adu kuda thanne see poem on his birthday വേറെ ഒരു ബർത്ത്ഡേ പോയും കൂടി എഴുതിയിട്ടുണ്ട് അപ്പൊ ഇതിലെല്ലാം ഹി അക്സെപ്റ്റ് ടൈം ആൻഡ് ചേഞ്ച് ആൻഡ് യൂസ് എസ് മെമ്മറി ഇൻ ഓൾ ദീസ് പോയംസ് വി ക്യാൻ സി ദി എബൻഡൻഡ് യൂസ് ഓഫ് ദ ലാംഗ്വേജ് യൂസ് ഓഫ് മെമ്മറി ആസ് ആൻ എൽ ജി ആക്ട് ഡിവീസ് ഹി യൂസ് എസ് മെമ്മറി ആസ് ആൻ എൽ ജി ആക്ട് ഡിവീസ് വിഷാദസാന്ദ്രമായ ഒരു ഡിവൈസ് ആയി മെമ്മറി അദ്ദേഹം ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് മെമ്മറി ഹിസ് മൈൻഡ് സ്വിങ്സ് പാസ്റ്റ് since his past glorious days ee kavadhal ella fan illayalum poem in october layalum adu pole thane poem on his birthday ayalum poem poem in october is a celebration of the poet's 30th birthday he attained the age of 30 and he celebrates it he celebrates the birthday in his imagination sondam bhavanayana bhavana you know imagination is always poetic and romantic then reality reality ekkal nalla edana appo imagination anallo angane adeyathinte past aagana imaginary world ilana iyalu adeyathinte 30th birthday aavushikkunnathu poem in october is a celebration of the poets don't forget it 30th birthday it has in all <coughs> in total or to use the latin expression in toto സെവൻ സ്റ്റാൻസസ് ഏഴ് സ്റ്റാൻസുകൾ ഉണ്ട് അതിൽ ദെൻ ദി ഓപ്പണിംഗ് സ്റ്റാൻസ് ആ ദി ബിഗിനിങ് സ്റ്റാൻസ് ആ ദി ഓപ്പണിംഗ് സ്റ്റാൻസ് ആ ക്രിയേറ്റ്സ് ദി സീൻ ഓഫ് ദി ടൗൺ ബൈ ദി എഡ് ജോ ദി സീ ദി ക്രിയേറ്റ്സ് എ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ സീ ഇൻ ഓ ദി ടൗൺ 
by the edge of the sea where he was living. The poem in October, the poem begins like this, stanza number one, first stanza. It was my thirtieth year to heaven, walk to my spring from harbor and neighborhoods, and the muscle pulled and the heron priest at shore. The morning beckoned with water praying and call of the seagull and rook and the knock of sailing boards on the net, net webbed wall. Myself to set foot a sound in the sleeping town and set forth. So the poem begins with a reference to the poet's 30th birthday. The poet describes the birthday as his 30th year in his journey to heaven. He has in his journey to death or heaven. Life is a journey from womb to tomb. 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 During his life's journey, he has covered 30 milestones. He has been working on the day. And he is working towards death. He is working towards death. He is working towards death or heaven. Heaven is like that. It was my 30th year to heaven. 30th year to heaven means he has covered 30 milestones and he is walking to the heaven or death. The poet describes the, his birthday as the 30th year to heaven. Then it was moon. It was morning, the town, the town is alone in Wales. The town is so the town where he was born alone in Wales, was still asleep. About the Chulapangala the town was still asleep. But the poet was awakened by the noises and sounds coming from the seashore. And the muscle pulled, muscle pulled, muscle, shellfish, shellfish, shell chippy, shellfish, Muscle no rain, my MUSCL, muscle pooled. There were pools with the muscles and the current. Current no rain, it is a watery bed, it is a sea bed, cock. Current priest at a shore. It performed a priestly activities a shore. A shore means in the shore. The current was performing its priestly activities like ablution. Ablution no rain, cleaning the body or part of body with water before prayers. Prarthani ke umbha Hindu mythology layerim, adhala pala religions layerim. Prarthani ke umbha shayiriyam shuddhi varitaga. Ippade ke noraya varje varla orda shere sele ke noda gorayen no matra. Atana ke lo na naite kudi ke maayirin no, alando na ke lo kai gali ke lo phangya te gari ke varkiya ke maayirin no. Angane the Haran is a priest. He is offering his prayers. He is offering his prayers to God Almighty at the shore. Shore Ladanda Chayana, it is offering his prayers. Abadinda sound and the so there were so many sounds, the noises and sounds coming from the seashore. Actually, the sounds beckoned the poet. Kavi Hing and Uli Chondrathi and the seashore was frequented with the seashore was frequently visited with the shellfish mussels. And by the seabed current. So the atmosphere was full of the calls of prayer made by the water and the sounds produced by the seabeds and the sounds of sailing boats. Sounds of the sailing boats with the sailing boats doom. And there was the knock of sailing boats in the net webbed wall. There was the knock, you know, the sailing boats uh, unwittingly area they. May say no on the net web wall, net, while I will be chitrik in the fifty year of jet tile, both the tile, fifty year of the tatuno. All these sounds, with all these sounds, it seemed to be beckoning the poet and asking him to come out of his dwelling place, come out of his house. Abhi Sabdang Allah, Boy, Harande, Kokin the Sabdam Ilem, Shellfish in the Sound Isle, Sheripin, where a मच्छ सीगल लोग ने कटल का का रूक का नोरा ने यूरेशियन क्रो यूरेशियन क्रो देर वास ऑल्सो दी कोड ऑफ सीगल एंड रूक इधर लल्ले अंदर चीन द ऑल दी साउंड्स 
all the sounds of nature as well as sea birds call the poet to come out of his dwelling place erangi varana vilikunnathu ayalde birthday aanu nevekke ariyam ad aagushikkan vendi erangi varan vendi vilikkana aathmarthamayittu vilikkuga cheyyunnathu so what does the poet do myself to set foot the sound in the sleeping town and set forth all these sounds invite him beckon him call him to come out of his dwelling uh, and uh, set forth set out come out of his dwelling place then second stanza my birthday began with the water birds and the birds of the winged trees flying my name yebodi farms and the white horses and i rose in rainy autumn and walked about in the shower of all my short days high tide and the herons died when i took the when i took the road high tide and the heron died when i took the road over the over the border gates of the town closed as the town evoke the gates of the town closed as the town evoke it is a paradox ഒരു വിരോധാഭാസമായിട്ട് തോന്നുന്നു സോ ദി പോയർസ് ബർത്ത്ഡേ ആദ്യമായിട്ട് ആഘോഷിച്ചത് ആരാ ദി പോയർസ് ബർത്ത്ഡേ ബിഗാൻ വിത്ത് ദി സെലിബ്രേഷൻസ് ബൈ ദി സീ ബേഡ്സ് ലൈക്ക് ഹെറൺ റൂട്ട്സ് റൂട്ട്സ് സീഗിൾസ് എറ്റ്സെട്ര സീ ബേഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് ദി ബേഡ്സ് ഓഫ് ദി ട്രീസ് ബേഡ്സ് ഓഫ് ദി ട്രീസ് ദർ എവർ ഓൾസോ ബേഡ്സ് ഓഫ് ദി ട്രീസ് my birthday began means my birthday stop began to be celebrated with the water birds it was water bird who first celebrated my birthday and the birds of the winged trees winged trees means the trees uh, which have leaves looking like wings the trees which have leaves looking like wings chiragu pole kanapadunna ilagal ulla vrishtangal adum trees flying hi flying my name you know the wind was blowing and flying my name above the farms and the white horses and i rose in rainy autumn you there were big waves dilen varana vaakine the word dilen has another meaning here adinte literal meaning nu parayna high tide nna uyarna tiramale nna artham ora uyarna tiramala high tide or high waves nna അപ്പം ഈ ഹൈ വേവ്സ് ഇങ്ങനെ ആഞ്ഞ് വീശുന്നു അതിൻ്റെ ആ വേവ്സിൻ്റെ അടിസ്ഥാനത്തിൽ ഈ വൃക്ഷങ്ങളുടെ ഇലകളൊക്കെ ഇങ്ങനെ ഉയർന്ന് പൊങ്ങുന്നു ആ വേവ്സ് വെള്ള കുതിരകളെ പോലെ ദി വേവ്സ് ലൈക്ക് വൈറ്റ് ഹോൾസസ് ഫ്ലൈ ഹൈ ഫ്ലൈ ഹൈ എബോ ദി ഫാംസ് എ ഫ്ലോട്ട് ആൻഡ് എബോ ദി ഫാംസ് ഫാംസിൻ്റെ മുകളിലൂടെ പറക്കുകയാണ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ അപ്പം അങ്ങനെ വരുമ്പം ഡിലൻ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ ഹൈറ്റേഡ് ആണല്ലോ ഈ ഹൈ ടൈഡ് അങ്ങനെ ഈ സുനാമി തിരമാല പോലെ ഉയർന്നു പോകുന്നു അതാ പറയുന്നത് എൻ്റെ പേര് ഉയരങ്ങളിലേക്ക് എത്തിക്കുന്നു എന്ന് ഡിലൻ ഹൈ ടൈഡ് ഡിലൻ എന്നുള്ള എൻ്റെ പേര് ഉയരങ്ങളിൽ എത്തിക്കുന്നു എന്നാ കവി പറഞ്ഞു വരുന്നത് സോ ദി പോയ പോയിൻസ് ഓഫ് ദ ദ കാരിയഡ് ഈസ് നൈ മൈ എബൗ ദി ഫാംസ് യു നോ ഓൾ ദി ട്രീസ് ദി വിങ്ങഡ് ട്രീസ് ആൻഡ് ബേഡ്സ് കാരിയഡ് ഈസ് നൈ ഹൈ എബൗ ദി ഫാംസ് ആൻഡ് waves which were like white horses you know the waves coming from the seas were like white horses vella kudrale pole aanu the poet woke up from his sleep and because of the sounds sounds coming from the he told nearby town lord you know what happened to the poet the poet woke up from his deep sleep came out unarnu came out and uh, walked out across the border of his days of life what happened he walked out in rain it was rainy autumn it was autumn season autumn season as we know it is a rainy season it was a rainy autumn and uh, i walked out in a shower of all my days i walked about in a shower of all my days that means even though it was rainy season i was walking in shower of my past days yan ende gadagalathinte shower lode nadakkayirunnu ee muttan malayonnum 
Ini kerja apa betul ni? Nyalah ni de, amanat tu malah kita galat ni de. I was in my imagination of childhood days, the glorious childhood days. Nyalah ni angin ya, orang imagination ni beri nak kerja ni. I was working by being exposed to the shower of all my days. All my days means all my past days. High tide, there were high tides in the sea and heron dived. The heron, the watery bed, the sea bed, the heron dived. When I took the road, when I took the road means I was walking along the road. Over the border, I reached the border of the town. Yana town, the border I, city border I, border and the gates of the town closed. As the town evoke, Nyan and Naradi and the Pedic, it became morning. It was morning. Prafada Mai and people woke up. People in the town woke up, everything woke up in the town lawn. Lawn or in the town, Lella Monarno. Ah, they summed it as far as I am concerned. The town, the reality of town, or the town of the present times was shut. Gates of the Town of the present times or the gates of the town of reality was shut as far as I am concerned. And I was in deep imagination of my glorious past when I was a child. And I began to celebrate my 30th birthday in my imagination. Imagination is far better than reality. So I wish to celebrate my 30th birthday in imagination. So uh, when I crossed the border of the city, I found that the city gates were shut. City owner na perde yim city gates saranyo. No varanya na the meaning ye. As far as I crossed the border of the city, I found that the reality, the present time, was shut for me, and I was in a glorious romantic age of imagination. A imagination lower the lake in and pui. Adan. Shangani imagination lana kariya ngari yadala he has to come back to the reality as a man he has to return to reality or reality lege madangyan to dhundi he has to come back to the world of the present time and every end of the world nailum apa gate tadanyo yadna paranyala then darutam he closed the gate of reality and he ended the fanciful world of imagination the fanciful world, the beautiful world of imagination he ended. That's why I have to do this. So, third stanza. A spring full of larks in the rolling cloud and the roadside bushes brimming with the whistling. Black beards and the sun of October summary on the hill's shoulders. Here were fond climates and sweet, sweet singers. Here were fond climbers and sweet singers. Suddenly, come in the morning where I wandered and listened to the rain ringing. Wind blow cold in the wood far, far away under me. You know, the poet went up the hill from the city of Sarti of Lone. In order to celebrate his birthday in imagination, he went up the hill where he could have a view of the Skyscape, our hill in the original Mughali Lagasam. He could get a finer view of the skyscape and the landscape spread below. Thari Anangal Mano Haramaya Thari Vare Madangana. He could also see the landscape below. The atmosphere all around was joyful, you know. The atmosphere all around the hill was highly joyful, unlike the city. And the birds were singing in the hill and in the valley, the birds were singing. A flock of skylarks. One quarter of my body. A flock of skylarks was soaring high among the clouds, and the black birds were whistling in the roadside bushes. The October sun was shining over the hill. Chudan no illa. Malla nilai avile chambore. The October sun was shining over the hill. The boy enjoyed the beauty of the scene and listened to the songs of the birds. Singing around him, tired very early, and couldn't tell you all part of the virtual day. As soon as the mother of my gun was so the two in the valley and the woods below under the hill where the poet stood, there was a cold wind blowing. 
from the in the valley and the woods below and under the hill where the poet was standing there was a cold wind blowing which was accompanied by rain pettana kaalavasikku oru maatam varigiyana idakke aasuchikkumba pettana oru shock vare inda karyam tanatha kaatu veesunnum adine thodarnum malayum malaya vannapadutheke imagination angu poi the imagination was lost what is happening a spring full of larks in a rolling cloud so there was a flock of skylarks in a rolling cloud and the roadside bushes brimming with the whistling there was the whistling sound of the black bird there was the whistling sound of the black bird on the roadside bushes and the sun of october summer the sun of october was shining lightly over the hill on the hill's shoulder the sun of october summer on the hill's shoulder the sun of october was shining on the hill's shoulder on the hill here where on the hill there were fond climates fond means very fond very favorite very excellent salubrious climate and sweet singers there were sweet singers not only on the shoulders of the hill but also in the valleys suddenly came in the morning where i wandered and listened suddenly came in the morning where i wandered and listened where i was wandering that is on the hill and uh, where he was listening to the uh, heavenly music of the birds to the rain ringing wind blow the rain ringing sound of rain coming and the wind blow cold in the wood far above under me cold in the woods far above under me yan nikkunna munne thaalu varathile nalla tanatha kaattu veesunnund the wind was accompanied by a rain paagi oru maatam vannu odagirikkunnu the next stands up pale rain over the dindling harbor pale rain over the dindling harbor and over the sea which the size of a snail with its horns through mist and the castle brown as owls but all the gardens of spring and the summer were blooming in the tall tales beyond the border under the large full cloud there could i marvel my birthday away but the weather turned round so the poet was completely enjoying the scenic beauty around the hill then what happened the poet was in a joyful atmosphere of the world of imagination she was in a joyful uh, atmosphere of the world of imagination from his lofty position of the hill he was standing in a high position of a hill from his lofty position of the hill the world of reality seemed to have receded he was standing on the hill of imagination and from there it is seemed that the world of reality has become receded a imagination de kunninde onu nikkumbo ee reality yaatharthi undalle yaatharthi engane ange mangi mangi illanda illanda ayi povunu pole thoni the real objects became only dimly visible or reduced in size യഥാർത്ഥ വസ്തുക്കൾ പള്ളി ആയാലും കൊട്ടാരമായാലും അതെല്ലാം എന്താണ് ആ ഒരു മങ്ങിയ രീതിയിൽ മൂടൽ മഞ്ഞ നിറഞ്ഞ രീതിയിൽ അങ്ങനെ കാണാൻ പറ്റുന്നുള്ളൂ ബിക്കോസ് ഹി വാസ് ഇന്നെ ഹെവൻലി സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഇമാജിനേഷൻ സോ ദ റിയൽ ഓബ്ജെക്ട്സ് ബിക്കെയും ഉള്ളി ഡിമിലി വിസിബിൾ അവർ റെഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് ഇൻ സൈസ് ദി ഹാർബർ ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ദി ഹാർബർ ഇൻ ദി സിറ്റി ലോൺ ഹാർബർ ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഡിൻഡിൽഡ് ബിഫോർ ഹിസ് വ്യൂ ഇറ്റ് ബിക്കെയും വെരി സ്മോൾ that in the ledge appeared in a reduced form before his view or before his eyes the church located on the sea shore the church which was located which was situated or located on the sea shore was reduced in size so as to look like a snail avade ulla palli thanne undalle palli thanne aa oru ochine pole kaanapettathu ee kunninde moolil nu nokkiyappo ഇയാൾ മനസ്സ് നിറയെ ഇമാജിനേഷനിൽ അതിൻ്റെ ഒരു മോഡൽ മഞ്ഞിലൂടെ നോക്കിയപ്പോൾ ഹി എ ഫൗണ്ട് ദി ചേർച്ച് വിച്ച് വാസ് ലൊക്കേറ്റഡ് ഓൺ ദി സീ ഷോർ അപ്പിയേഡ് ലൈക്ക് എ സ്നെയിൽ ദി കേസിൽ ലുക്ക്ഡ് ലൈക്ക് എ ബ്രൗൺ അവൾ കേസിലാണെങ്കിൽ അവിടെ ഉള്ള ഒരു കൊട്ടാരമാണെങ്കിൽ ഒരു ബ്രൗൺ അവൾ ഒരു ബ്രൗൺ നിറത്തിലുള്ള അതിൻ്റെ പെയിൻ്റ് നിറമാണ് ബ്രൗൺ നിറത്തിലുള്ള ഒരു മൂങ്ങയെ പോലെ കാണപ്പെട്ടത് ബ്രൗൺ അവൾ ദി കേസിൽ അപ്പിയേഡ് ടു ഹിം ലൈക്ക് എ ബ്രൗൺ അവൾ സീൻ ബിലോ ഓൺ ദി ഇയർത്ത് ഹാസ് ചെയ്ഞ്ചഡ് the scene below on the earth has changed 
ഈ ഭൂമിയിലുള്ളതിനെല്ലാം മാറ്റം വന്നിരിക്കുന്നു ഒരുപാട് മാറ്റം വന്നിരിക്കുന്നു പെയിൽ റെയിൻ ഓവർ ദി ഡിൻഡിലിങ് അവർ പറയുന്നു പെയിൽ റെയിൻ ആ ലുക്കിംഗ് ത്രൂ ദി റെയിൻ ഹി ഫൗണ്ട് ദി ഹാർബർ ഇൻ എ ഡിൻഡിൽ ദി സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഓവർ ദി സീവെറ്റ് ചേർച്ച് ദി സൈസ് ഓഫ് എ സ്നെയിൽ ദി സീവെറ്റ് ചേർച്ച് ഇൻ ദി ഷോർ അപ്പേഡ് ലൈക്ക് എ സ്മോൾ സ്നെയിൽ ഒച്ച് ചെറിയ ഒച്ചിനെ പോലെ കാണാം വിത്ത് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഹോൺസ് ത്രൂ മിസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദി സ്റ്റീപ്പിൾസ് സ്റ്റീപ്പിൾസ് ഓഫ് ദി ചേർച്ച് ഓർ ദി ടവേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ദി ചേർച്ച് അപ്പേഡ് ലൈക്ക് ദി ഹോൺസ് ഓഫ് എ സ്നെയിൽ ഈ സ്നെയിലിന് രണ്ട് കൊമ്പുകൾ പോലെ കാണപ്പെട്ടത് പള്ളിയുടെ ഗോപുരങ്ങൾ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ദി ഗ്യാസിൽ ബ്രൗൺ ആസ് ഔൾസ് ദി ഗ്യാസിൽ അപ്പിയുടെ ബ്രൗൺ ഔൾ ബട്ട് ഓൾ ദി ഗാർഡൻസ് ഓഫ് സ്പ്രിങ് ആൻഡ് സമ്മർ വെർ ബ്ലൂമിങ് ഇൻ ദി ടോൾ ടെയിൽസ് ആസ് ഫാർ ആസ് ദി ഹിൽ ആൻഡ് ദി സറൗണ്ടിങ്സ് ആർ കൺസേൺഡ് ആസ് ഫാർ ആസ് ഇസ് ഇമാജിനേഷൻ ഈസ് കൺസേൺഡ് യു നോ ഓൾ ദി ഗാർഡൻസ് ഓൾ ദി പ്ലാൻസ് ഓർ ദി സ്പ്രിങ് ആൻഡ് സമ്മർ വെർ ബ്ലൂമിങ് ഓൾ ദി പ്ലാൻസ് വെർ ഇൻ ഫുൾ ബ്ലൂം on the hill where he is now standing and enjoying his birthday celebrating his birthday adu oru vallatha oru kaalchiyana the scene below on the earth has changed but flowers continued to blossom or bloom in the gardens of the uh, hill that is to say the reality was left behind the reality was left behind and looked vague reality looked very vague and even angry reality appeared even angry whereas the world of imagination was still beautiful the world of imagination where the poet was in was still very beautiful the poet wished to enjoy his birthday the poet wanted to enjoy he wished to enjoy his birthday in the world of imagination as i told you earlier the poet wished to enjoy his birthday in the pleasant world of imagination സി ഈ ഭാവനയുടെ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സങ്കല്പത്തിൻ്റെ മനോഹരമായ ലോകത്ത് തൻ്റെ ബർത്ത്ഡേ ചെലവഴിക്കാൻ ആഗ്രഹിച്ചത് ഹി വൺ ഡേഡ് വാട്ട് ബ്യൂട്ടി സ്പ്രെഡ് അറൗണ്ട് ഹിം അഡ് വാസ് ദി ഫൻറ്റാസ്റ്റിക് ബ്യൂട്ടി ദാറ്റ് സ്പ്രെഡ് അറൗണ്ട് ഹിം ബട്ട് വട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് ദേ ആർ ഐ കുഡ് മാർവൽ സിന്ദർ ഹിൽ ഐ കുഡ് മാർവൽ മാർവൽ മീൻ സെലിബ്രേറ്റ് മൈ ബർത്ത്ഡേ എവേ ബട്ട് ദി വെദർ ടേൺഡ് അറൗണ്ട് ബട്ട് ആക്ച്വലി വട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് ദി വെദർ സഡൻലി ചേഞ്ച്ഡ് the weather changed and i was taken out of the world of imagination to the mire to the muddy place of reality enne inge valichu reality ede chelikundilekku valichittu thaalthittu that was what happened nee reality ilekku madangi poye madiyagu so in the fifth stanza the poet pays a glorious tribute to his childhood it is turned away from the blight country and down the other air and the blue blue altered sky sky stream again a wondrous summer with apples peas and uh, red currants and i saw in the painting so clearly as a child's forgotten mornings when he walked with his mother uh, through the parables of sunlight and the legends of the green chapels so the you know what is it what does it mean the scene of the the scene or the situation of the che blessed world of hill the blessed world of imagination in the hill changed and there appeared an altered sky and a different atmosphere it turned away from the blight country you know the atmosphere turned away from the blight country blight country means happy country happy hillside happy hill where imagination reigned or ruled and down the other air the blue altered sky so there happened and there appeared an altered sky and a different atmosphere however on the hill nalunga we are which on the hill where he wished to celebrate his 30th birthday there was still spring season on the hill it was spring season even though in the land it was autumn season full of rain on the hill there was still spring season and the flowers and fruits of the season were blooming and flowers and fruits of the spring season were blooming on the hill the poet suddenly what happens and in his imagination he found that the on the hill side there streamed again a uh, 
one row summer with apples and peas red currants i sent the tanning so clearly a child what happened the poet recalled the scene of his childhood suddenly poet remembered his glorious childhood where he saw a land abounding in apples and peas he remembered his childhood passed in the company of his mother and his close contact with nature what happened he remembered his glorious childhood golden mornings when he walked with his mother childhood uh, uh, he was he was walking in the company of his mother and also his close contact with the nature through the parables of the sunlight he learned so many parables parables means story with the morals story with the morals stories with the morals sarovadeshagathagal gettu and the legends of the green chapels in the greenery of the earth he learned so many legends oru vaad aidhihegathagal bhoomiyude oru vaad aidhihegathagal ammayil ninnu mattu njan kettu padichu prakrithiyil nanne enikku padikkan kazhinju prakrithi thanne so nature itself had been a good teacher to me enikku oru nalla adhyayagarayirunnu see in the enchanting atmosphere of nature comprising sunlight there was sunlight he had learned the parables and legends and the greenery of the earth the green earth was like a chapel it was like a chapel from which he had picked up various legends he was able to pick up various legends from the green nature thus nature had been a teacher for him in his childhood prakriti nu arnjal evane samadhichodathulla or nalla adhyapagan thanne irunnu and the next stanza sixth stanza and the toys told feels feels of infancy and toys told the feels of infancy that his tears burned my cheeks and his heart moved in mine these were the woods the river the sea where a boy in the listening summer time of the dead this paid the truth of his joy and my story uh, sang alive my story sang alive still in the water and singing birds water and singing birds were telling my sad story of childhood so what is the meaning of it the poet rombeis himself as having been a child the poet rombeis himself as having been a child picking up various legends and parables from the nature amla kanda kanallo the memory of that child the memory of the child the poet's childhood the memory of that child who is no other than the poet ibda parayna kutti nu ornjal aaraanu kavi thanneyana the memory of that child who is no other than the poet himself brings tears to his eyes what happens and uh, the toys told the feels of infancy you know they feels the experiences of infancy where toys told to him means uh, he had actually experienced the the hardships and sufferings of his childhood really and also now he remembers or recalls that uh, experience or those experiences and hardships in his childhood angane varumba rendu pravashyam kuttikalathu neritta anubhavikkeyum cheyidu po ormayilude anubhavikkeyum cheyunu adu adana toys told feels of infancy that is tears burned my cheeks you know his childhood he had a, a lot of hardships and sufferings and he was so at a so many times in tears he was so many times in tears and his heart the child heart moved mine now a kutti nu valarna varuda engilum a kuttiyade or a kutti kaalathu ormagalulla sangadagaramaya dukkaramaya karyangal ende kannugalil ninnum kanneer kanangal kaalam eppikkunu ende manasil ninnum dukkam marakkunu enne kareepikkunu adundana the memory of that child who is none other than the poet himself brings tears to his eyes the here the poet and the child uh, uh, both of them have been blended into one entity one factor we can see that the poet and the child have been blended into one entity here nammal nerthe paranjallo so union of time and uh, people endu nammal paranjallo here the child and the poet have become one entity one factor angane onnai maari adondalle aa kuttikalathu ormagal onnappum ആ ഒരു കുട്ടിയെ പോലെ ഇപ്പം കണ്ണിൽ കണ്ണുനീർ കണങ്ങൾ വരുന്നത് 
the forest, the rivers, the sea and other objects of nature were a source of joy to the child. As far as the child was concerned in the old days, what happened? <clears throat> there were the woods, forest, the river and sea. You know, as far as the child was concerned, the sea and other objects of nature, the river, uh, were all a source of joy. Uh, so, as far as the poet is, matured poet is concerned, or so for the poet, so for the poet now, Kavira Gayatil Angaranya, the child used to express his feelings and joyful insights in the trees, stones, and fish. These feelings were echoed by the water and singing birds. The poet also finds his feelings reflected in various objects of nature. The poet now finds that, you know, the stones, the trees and the fish in the brooks, uh, they shared the, they actually shared the joy of the, joy and feelings of the child. And actually the water and the birds were singing, uh, the child's own experiences. Kutiya and from like, you know, streams, madhuvala than he patched a party in the book. We can tell the bigger or the Indian. The poet also feels, that his feelings are reflected in the various objects of the nature. The feelings and the passions of the poet are reflected in various, they are reflected in various objects in the nature. Pragadira Palavastakalim, Kavira Vigarangalum, Kavira Pavane and Kanan Kirino. Alangal, you know, these stones and the brooks and the flowers are able to move. The poet and thus uh, beautiful lines will be coming out of him. And now the last stanza. And there could I marvel my birthday away but the weather turned round. And there true joy of long dead child uh, sun. Uh, burning in the sun. It was my 30th year to heaven stood there then. In the summer noon though the town below lay Lived with October blood. Oh, my heart's truth still be sung on this high hill in a year's tour, year's training, year's training. The poet says that he could have enjoyed, he could have enjoyed his birthday very much. There and there I could have marvel, marvel means celebrate my birthday. I could marvel, I could celebrate my birthday on the top of the hill. Do what happens? But the scene and the atmosphere before his eyes had changed. Suddenly there was a sudden change of weather. Away but the weather turned, weather turned round. There was a sudden change of atmosphere and uh, scene. And the true joy of long dead child son burning in the sun. And you know the joy he had felt when he was a child. The extreme joy he had felt when he was a child was melted by the heat of the sun. The true story of the dead child, when his old child, in his childhood, was melted by the heat of the sun. Adamuri ki pui. Asandosham, the joy he had felt when he was a child was melted by the heat of the sun, October sun. He had grown up, and he had grown up and on his 30th birthday, stood on the hill in a position quite different from that of a child. He had grown up now and on the 30th birthday uh, he stood on the hill in a position quite different from that of a child. Red leaves of autumn. Autumn season is a season when the leaves are being shed from trees. Barshangala Veloji in the Samayavan in a Pirate the Chovana Illegal Thari video. Mane Thari Viana Chovana Illegal Thari Alam City Kadagano. The red leaves of autumn were scattered over the town below. The poet had become conscious of the ugly reality of the actual world to which he belonged as an adult. Actually or in fact or truly the poet had become conscious. The poet had become aware of the ugly reality of the actual world. To which he belonged. Than ulpatta hi logatinde ugliness, vrtigeda reality da logatinde, vrtigeda manuslay. He had gained uh, several bitter experiences of the world. 
വിജയ് വിഷ്ണു ഹി കുണ്ട് കൺവേ ഓർ എക്സ്പ്രസ് ഇൻ ഈസ് പോയംസ് ഇൻ ദി ഇയർ ടു കം ഒരുപാട് അനുഭവങ്ങളുണ്ട് യുനോ ഇവിടെ കുട്ടിയുടെ ആയ സന്തോഷം ഇൻ ദി ഹോട്ട് സൺ ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദി ചേഞ്ച് ഓഫ് വെതർ ഇൻ ദി ഹോട്ട് സൺ വെൻ ദി റിയാലിറ്റി കെയിം ഇറ്റ് വാസ് മെൽറ്റഡ് ആ സന്തോഷം ഒരുകി ഇല്ലാതായി പോയി ആ ഓ മൈ ഹേഡ്സ് ട്രൂ സ്റ്റിൽ ബി സൺ ഐ ഹാഡ് ഹാഡ് എ ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് എക്സ്പീരിയൻസസ് ഐ മിറ്റർ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസസ് ഓഫ് ദി വേൾഡ് ആൻഡ് ആൻഡ് ദ വെയ്റ്റ് ടു ബി സൺ ദ ആർ സ്റ്റിൽ ടു ബി സൺ ഇനിയും കവിതകളായി പുറത്തു വരാനുള്ള ഒരുപാട് വിറ്റർ ആൻഡ് വിറ്റർ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസസ് ദർ ഇൻ മൈ ലൈഫ് എൻ്റെ ജീവിതത്തിലുണ്ട് ഇൻ മൈ ലൈഫ് ദർ ആർ എ ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് വിറ്റർ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസസ് വിച്ച് ആർ എറ്റ് ടു ബി സൺ ഇനിയും പാടാനുള്ളതാണ് ആ അനുഭവങ്ങളൊക്കെ അത് ഞാൻ പാടും പാടും ഒരു ദിവസം വീണ്ടും ഞാൻ കുന്നിൻ്റെ മുകളിൽ കയറും ആൻഡ് ഹി വിഷ്ഡ് ഹി കുഡ് കൺവേ ഓർ എക്സ്പ്രസ് ഇൻ ഈസ് പോയംസ് ഇൻ ദി ഇയർ ടു കം ഇനി വരാനിരിക്കുന്ന വർഷങ്ങളിൽ ഞാൻ അത് പാടും എൻ്റെ അനുഭവങ്ങളെല്ലാം ഞാൻ കവിതകളായി മാറ്റും ഐ വിൽ ട്രാൻസ്ലേറ്റ് മൈ ബിറ്റർ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസസ് ഇൻ ടു പോയട്രി ഇൻ ദി ഇയേഴ്സ് ടു കം Oh, may my head's truth still be sung on this high hill in a year's turn. I will reach the high hill once again. In the world of imagination, I will reach once again. And I will translate all the bitter experiences into better songs. Bitter experiences are like better songs. I am concerned. I am in the journey to the eternity here. 30 milestones. അപ്പോൾ നാഴികല്ലാളിയാൻ പിന്നിട്ട് ഇനി ഇപ്പോൾ എത്ര ഉണ്ടെന്ന് എനിക്ക് അറിയാൻ വയ്യ ഞാനങ്ങനെ നടന്ന് നീങ്ങിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് അങ്ങനെ നീങ്ങുമ്പോൾ ഈ എ സി ഐ വാണ്ടഡ് ഐ വിഷ് ടു എൻജോയ് ദിസ് സെലിബ്രേറ്റ് ദിസ് ബർത്ത്ഡേ ഇൻ മൈ ഇമാജിനേഷൻ ബട്ട് ഐ കുഡ് എൻ ബിക്കോസ് ആസ് എ ഹ്യൂമൻ ബീയിങ് ആസ് എ മാൻ ഐ ഹാവ് ടു കം ബാക്ക് ടു ദി വേൾഡ് ഓഫ് റിയാലിറ്റി ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് ജസ്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ് വാട്ട് ഹാഡ് ഹാപ്പൻസ് അതാണ് സംഭവിച്ചത് ഐ കെയിം ബാക്ക് ടു റിയാലിറ്റി and once again i will go back to the world of imagination and i will sing the unsung bitter experiences that remain deep in my mind and the manasin dadathirulla idu vara paadatha bitter experiences ilu njan paadum 